Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. You know, this summer in particular, I've paid special attention to what's happening when I'm fishing. More attention than ever before because I, I haven't had to worry about TV cameras and a lot of other things that I normally do. And so I've concentrated totally on what fish do. And I got to tell you, I believe after a couple months of really intensive concentration and observation that fish are looking and see things not only in a 360 circle around them, but they, they are seeing things above them and below them. And let me be very specific. What's happened to me a lot lately is when I'm fishing some of these, these shallow water and it's clear water uh, areas where I'm wading, I will cast out and I'll cast as far as I can. And let's say I get a, I get a really good strike out there and I'll have the fish and then I'll lose it within, within, all within a second. And I start bringing it, bringing it in. And a lot of times I'll, I, I know that the lure maybe isn't adjusted right now and I've got to get it in and cast it again. So I'll reel as fast as I can or even raise it and it's coming out of the water. And yet what I see happening those fish are watching it the whole way. Even when I raise it out of the water for sections, and they, they're still following it. They still see it through the air, and they'll hit it again as it gets just a couple feet from me. And they're moving at such fast speed. They, they're not letting that get away from them. And, you know, I've thought a lot about this. I've thought also how many times I will cast out and I'll get a strike as soon as that lure hits the water. The very second it hits the water, I'll get a strike. What means is they're seeing it come through the air. They're in their location where they're feeding or where they're hunting. And they, they've got an area all around them where they've kind of taken advantage of or they're saying, this is my area, this is mine, so stay out of it. And this is where I'm going to find my food. And so they're watching and they're watching in the, in the air above them. There's only a little water that's separating them at that point from the air. And, you know, I think we fool ourselves when we think they can't see what's going on above, including us. They see us, and they see us from quite a distance. Now, if we're not moving fast, if we're not making a lot of noise in the water, maybe they can tolerate that. Maybe they're not sure if we're a deer, or maybe we might be some geese or something else, because you'll notice a lot of times in a given pool, those fish will not be put off by other, other animals or birds or something around them. But they know, they know they're there. They're watching them. And, they, and, and if we use violent quick actions or we start wading and, and kicking up rocks and so forth, then that's a disturbance and they'll go away. My point of this whole report is that I've learned so much in watching the fish this year. And what you, you can't do that if you're fishing deep water or if you're trolling or if you're doing some of the other things. It's part of, of fishing the way so many of us love it. But if you're, if you're fishing like I am, I, I am equating myself again to that blue heron that takes their time and watches and watches. And they, they come to, to be able to see all the things around them. I'm seeing that with the fish and I'm amazed at the distance away that they will watch something hit the water. They will come from at least 20 or 30 feet away or more. They know what's happening in that world around them. That's their world. And they know every single thing that's going on. They know where, when a crayfish comes out from under a rock and starts to scurry to another place. They know when a frog leaps off the bank and starts swimming across the water or where a mother duck and her babies come and start to, to swim across and they'll follow. They know all this is going on and they know everything that we're doing if we enter into their world. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.